598 WPG. Charlotte's number one for Blake's and hip hop and RB. You already know, no little Larry the boy the Madhouse. There you go, your boy. That's Yasmin boy right there. Mm. He goes by the name of, uh, what's that boy's name? What's his name? Young Thug. And, Why uh, it gotta be my boy? That's your boy. <laughs> you know I went to college, right? <laughs> that's how they talk at FAMU. <laughs> <laughs> they don't talk uh, like that at FAMU. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I visited FAMU, that's how they talk. Boy. Hush. And, Hush. and everything ended in boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, hump boy, you punk boy. You're... Yeah, so shout out to him. Star phone is ringing. Uh, on the way, we got Angela from the Have and Have Not. She's yes. going to be telling about yes. the debut of her show tonight. But right now, my big homie Malik Yoba's on the phone. Show debuts tomorrow. Empire. Ooh, Taraji P. Henson's in there. My man Terrence Howard's in there. And Malik, what's up, big bro? What's happening? I'm in L.A., so I'm a, y'all got the early morning voice, man. Ooh, I love it. Don't even worry about it. All right, you just keep talking to me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you might get me up. Ah, that's wow. What it, that's, <laughs> no pun intended. You might get... Okay. So the new show, Empire, uh, Malik, uh, tell us about this new show coming on tomorrow night. Um, You know, it's one of those things I say I can show you better than I can tell you, but... um. Uh, I think it's good, man. Um, you know, so it's, it's a family drama set in the music world, which is the easiest way to describe it. I think it's a combination of like um, a little bit of entourage, a little bit of Sopranos, a little bit of Dynasty. Um, but it's groundbreaking, groundbreaking television. You know, when we were off the air, y'all said, "Why don't y'all bring New York on the cover mm-hmm. back?" And for me, um, this is actually my thirteenth television series. So as far as television goes. Uh, this is the closest thing in terms of the DNA of a show that I think speaks to um, certainly the black community um, in a way that nothing else I've ever been a part of does. Um, from you know the subject matter, storylines, family dynamic, the music element obviously is really strong, which Timberland is handling all the music, which is organic to the show. So it's not like people just stop in the middle of a sentence and start singing, but I <laughs> believe it. Um, you know, but um, I think it's got all the goods that that'll make people want to um, want to uh, tune in uh, continuously and see what the hell happens with these crazy people fighting over money and power and all that that stuff. But yeah, that's the long and short of it. I, I think the beautiful thing about it is that people, you know, a lot of times these type of shows that really are intriguing come on cable television, but this is going to be on Fox. So, you know, we have an opportunity to watch it. If you don't if you don't have cable like myself, you know, they cut off your bootleg cable. You can still watch Empire. And I think that's something that a lot of people will appreciate and a lot of will bring a lot more viewers to the show. Yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and you know, Fox, obviously, you know, th- there's a lot of competition out there with cable and Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and everything else. So mm-hmm. they definitely had to come uh, much more aggressively. Um, and I think they did. And I think Fox has done an amazing job in terms of just promoting the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, I got a lot of history in this business and, and to see, you know, how they treat something like this, you know, the same network that brought you New York Undercover 20 years ago. Um, it's a completely different um, animal right now. So they've invested a lot. And, uh, yeah, man, I think uh, we uh, we have some people who definitely want to check it out. Well, Malik, tell us, tell us about your character, um, you know, and what you are actually doing on the show. Uh, I'm the I'm the maintenance man. I'm the porter. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I need, my pops need some I'm the, I'm the manny. Um uh, I play the chairman of the board. Uh, the, the premise of the first season is we're trying to take this company public. Um, mm-hmm. And I play the chairman of the board. Um, Terrence's character and I have, and, and Taraji's character have grown up uh, somewhat together. And, and I'm sort of like, uh, I'm sort of like the, uh, if you remember the Godfather, the Robert Duvall character, Tom Hayden in the show. He's like the consigliere. You know, I'm that dude behind the dude. Uh, you know, pulling the strings and, and helping be the architect of of, uh, of the business, not just the music side of it, but obviously if we're taking the company public, there's a lot of elements to it, you know, not just records, but all the other ancillary business. So that's, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. 
Taraji P. Henson, Terrence Howard, we haven't seen them together, I think, since uh, like Hustle and Flow. Hustle this seems flow, like yeah. this is kind of like a spinoff of Hustle and Flow a little bit, but it's also surrounded by some controversy with 50 Cent saying that, you know, <clears throat> the network may have stole some of his ideas with his his work on power of, you know, his stars. Um, is that what he said? That's what he said. That's what he said. So I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you. Yeah, I was going to ask you your feeling on the whole thing. I think he's promoting our show. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I think it's a blessing to 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 work in this business. Period. So, however, people want to choose to to look at it, I think that every individual um, that has an opportunity to live their dream, um, I think, should be supported, especially if they're coming at it from a righteous place. So, um, I don't get involved with that kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, Well, let me and ask. It's not true. Let me, let me ask you this: taking it away from Empire for just a second and taking it back to New York Undercover, you played a police officer, a detective on that show. Being from the Bronx, with everything that's going on in New York right now with the NYPD, how do you feel about you know the situation with um, uh, Eric Garner, with the two officers that were shot and killed by the man who you know said it was retaliation for Eric Garner? What are, what are your thoughts being a New Yorker and being somebody who actually played a police officer and kind of has a little bit closer of an idea of what it's like to be a police officer than maybe us everyday people? Well, I mean, um, if you, you know, my experience growing up in New York City is there was a time when I got beat up by four white cops, literally four white cops. And um, I took, and I was like 20 years old, and at the time I was working with uh, a group called the City Kids Foundation, and we we were all about bringing people together cross-culturally to make a difference in the world. And I had an opportunity to speak at an event where the police commissioner was speaking. And actually at that time I was 23. And... um, uh, the commissioner was uh, Lee Brown, who then became the mayor of Houston, black man. And at this conference, um, I stood up and said, as the youngest person in the room, because I was, I would like the opportunity to ask you, police commissioner, why is this okay that I got beat up by four white cops when I was actually trying to prevent um, an altercation at a McDonald's? And uh, he said... Um, well, listen, why don't you call my office and we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I stood up and I said, actually, why don't you call me? And I walked up to the podium and I gave him my card and he called me. And I had the opportunity to sit with the commissioner and uh, end up working with um, the anti-bias crime unit um, with the police department and do some training. At the time, there was a woman, a black woman, who was actually the head of the police academy. So from a personal standpoint, um, I've just always been proactive in making a difference where I sit where I sit so the dude that shot the cops in his twisted fantasy he thought he could make a difference by killing folks but there's a lot of work that we have to do and Mm -hmm. as it relates to television I think that television is a very powerful medium you know when I did New York Undercover I took that opportunity as a police officer on, on, on the show to extend the work in the real in a real way in a real meaningful way um, in the community so when I would go to prisons and work and do workshops or motivational speaker speeches it was always fascinating to me how literally prisoners would celebrate a dude who was playing a cop or when dudes were selling drugs on the corner where we used to film like they would leave the corner to give us props to so we can do what we had to do as as a television production so right. at the end of the day i just think that there's a lot of work that needs to be done from a community standpoint and um i think that no matter where you are you got to be part of the solution all right malik yo but ladies and gentlemen brand new show power comes on tomorrow night no you didn't just do that you didn't just say power empire. i mean empire i'm sorry I was reading the 50 Cent uh, statement. That's what it was. Empire comes on tomorrow night on Fox. Make sure you check it out. Taraji P. Henson, Malik Yoba, and, of course, Terrence Howard, all in this series. Real quick, Malik, how you let them kill you off on Why Did I Get Married? How you let them kill you off? You going to watch Empire tomorrow, bro? Yeah, of course I'm going to watch it tomorrow. <laughs> I just want to know why you let them kill you off. 
you know, Tyler does what he does, man. It's, I'm still here, baby. All right, that's what it is. Appreciate you calling in this morning. Yes, sir. Y'all be good. You too. Charlotte's number one for Blazer Hip Hop and R&B. It's always Power 98.